today's news. Last week on Friday around the evening, there was a picnic at Van Collen Park that is located in the Bronx. The ones who were in the picnic were staff and faculty members from high school Bronx Theater. Shortly after the picnic, members of the picnic were reportedly feeling ill with nausea, vomiting, and strong abdominal pains. There was also some deaths. Today we have an epidemiologist here who is also working on the picnic case. They will go further in detail about the incident that happened last week on Friday. So, hello Kevin. So, how long have you been working as an epidemiologist? Eight years. Nice. So, first question I would like to ask is, how many people have died from this issue? Four people have died so far. So, the other ones who were put in the hospital shortly after the incident, have you spoken to them? Yes, I went to see them and questioned them about what they each had to eat, and I found that most of the infected had eaten the green bean casserole. Hmm. How did the ones who survived manage to recover? And what were the ingredients that was in the casserole? Uh, the ones who managed to survive or recover, would, they were able to recover because they got to the hospital in a fast enough time. Um, they symptom, when they started to feel symptoms, um, it was a few hours after the picnic, and the incubation period um, is basically, or usually around 18 to 36 hours. Um, but the victims started experiencing these is issues earlier. Uh, some of them got medical treatment before others, and that is why recovery times and death were that random or different from each other. What was the name of the bacteria? Uh, the bacteria's name was Clostridium botulinum. Can you elaborate on that on that bacteria and the modes of transmission? Transmission. Uh, the bacteria causes botulism. Botulism is basically, or is actually caused by toxins produced by bacteria, and not presence of the bacteria itself. The bacteria is often found in meats and improperly canned foods. Modes of transmission from this issue is that botulism isn't transmitted from person to person. It is transmitted by someone ingesting it, such as vegetables or, as previously stated, improperly canned foods. Uh, the people that were at the picnic consumed the food that was contaminated with the toxins or spores. Was there another food item that you thought would have been the problem? Uh, yes, we found that the ham was, uh, wasn't properly cooked, and at first we thought it was that, but then we found that it was actually the green bean capsule. Remember guys, be careful what you eat. So, so, what research have you done for the food item that was selected as the cause of the issue last Friday? Like, what were the steps you followed? Well, me and my coworkers have done multiple things. We first looked at the person, place, and time. At 6 p.m. Um, Friday evening at Van Cortland Park, the Bronx Theater faculty came down with a mysterious illness. We first looked at what foods they ate and the ingredients in such foods. We found that some of the food wasn't cooked properly. We also found that the green bean casserole was to blame. The ingredients for the casserole were canned and the green beans were jarred. The green beans need to be pressure canned because they are low in acid. Pressure canning limits the risk of botulism. Okay, so last question for you. What can you tell individuals who are watching how to avoid this issue? Um, what I can say is use approved heating process for commercially and home canned foods. Pre pressure can low acid foods such as corn or green beans, meat or poultry. Discard all swollen, gassy or spoiled canned foods. Double bags, double bag the cans or jars with plastic bags that are tightly closed. Then place the bags in trash receptacles or non-recyclable trash outside home. Do not taste or eat the food from any cans that are leaking, open, or are giving off foam when open. Do not use products that squirt liquid or if the container is open at all. Well, 
Thank you for the information and thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all the information. Jonathan here. So I am here with one of the victims from the picnic, one of the staff members, named Danny Concepcion. How you doing, Danny? Hello, sir. So real quick, not going to take too long. Um, so how long did it take for you to realize you needed medical treatment? Um, I believe it was over the weekend. I was at work. I started feeling some, you know, mild pain. But uh, I recovered on Wednesday morning. Okay, how um, did it take long for you to recover, or was it quick? It it took a while. I just it wasn't that long, but it was a while. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You um, thank you. I hope everything works well with you. Thank you. And now we're gonna go ahead up to Jonathan, where he is at a victim's family member's house, which was actually at the scene. So, let's go to Jonathan. Hello, this is Jonathan from Today's Hills, here with one of the guys, the victim, um, brothers, one of the victims who died in the poison picnic. Uh, one of them was named Mr. Vega, and this is his brother, Socrates. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, could be better, you know. A uh, real tragic what happened in the park, you know, not only for my family, but uh, everyone's involved, you know. You was also at the picnic as well, right? Uh, yes, but not from I only save for a drink and then left. Yeah. All right. So first off, I want to say I'm sorry about your brother's past, about the passing of your brother. So um, can you tell us a little bit? Like, did you expect anything? Was there like some changes or anything about your brother after the picnic? Uh, he, he got very sick, you know. Um, uh, so someone else also called me saying, you know, he, he's he's. Uh, He's feeling really ill, you know, there's a lot of stomach and abdominal pains. And you know, rushed over there, you know, and uh, we went to the... Did you get a phone call from somebody that was also in the yeah, same yeah, yeah. Yes, I did. Who, who was the person that called you? Uh, it was his wife. His wife. His wife, okay. How is she doing? I, I, she's taking it really hard. Well, thank you for your time. Um, once again, I'm sorry about the passing of your brother. Today's news live from the Bronx. I'm wondering all this stuff, you know? I hope everybody's okay and that everybody, you know, sorry for your loss. On today's news.